Hey friends, I hope that you're all having a very, very happy December and you're enjoying your holidays no matter where you are. Um, this video is, um, you know, going to be personal, but uh, something that I have related to um, with a lot of other people who have thyroid disorders and other thyroid cancer patients I've found who experience a lot of these things. Um, sometimes being a thyroid cancer patient or being, um, you know, a patient with any sort of thyroid disorder, some of these things sort of get swept under the rug and aren't acknowledged as uh, that severe of an issue. And of course that's true, um, you know, having a thyroid disorder is not the end of the world or not having a thyroid is not the end of the world. Yes, you have to take medication um, to replace the important things that the thyroid does, but it certainly um, does have its disadvantages too. And a lot of these things are, you know, as I said, swept under the rug or not taken as seriously as they should be, um, especially because the thyroid is super important and the things that it does really, really kind of truly affect everything. And when they're not uh, right, uh, there are definite side effects that occur. So the first thing I wanna talk about is your weight. Um, a couple of people have asked me about this and uh, this is something that I was concerned about uh, before having my thyroid removed when I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer um, a little over a year ago. Uh, so I had seen a lot of horror stories about people's you know, weight just going crazy and uh, out of control. Um, I saw a lot of things about how people had gained 20 to 40 pounds and you know, I already didn't feel good so I was worried that would happen. But it doesn't. Um, for me, actually, I uh, lost 10 pounds almost immediately after my thyroid surgery, and it stayed there as well. Um, I have not gained any weight. Uh, I feel a lot better. Um, but I will say that your weight sometimes is um, an issue, but it's not anything you should worry about. This one is actually probably the least of your concern, um, to be honest. So don't always believe, uh, you know, what I did, that you're gonna gain a bunch of weight um, if you don't have a thyroid or if you have a thyroid disorder. Um, after having your thyroid removed, if you have a really good doctor like I do, they will handle everything correctly, um, put you at the level that you need to be, put your numbers where they need to be with managed medication. So thankfully that's one thing um, that's never been an issue for me. Um, I've always been, you know, a curvy girl, but I've never been large um, by any means uh, before I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. And as I was starting to be very, very symptomatic, I had put on a lot of weight very quickly. Um, but it, you know, it really wasn't that much. I fluctuated between 120 and 140 for the past several years. Um, and I was at 140 when I had my thyroid removed. And as I said, once I had it uh, removed back in October of 2018, that weight just dropped right off of me. So some people do um, have those side effects, but usually most of the time, if your weight goes up after your uh, levels of medications get normalized, you'll notice that that's certainly a lot better. And if you're like me, you might even lose a few pounds um, or go back to your normal weight that you had before you had a thyroid disorder. The next thing I wanna talk about is your mood. Um, this one is really important and I think think very, very commonly. Um, people are misinformed about this or this one swept under, under the rug even more so. And um, this is something that I've noticed to definitely be uh, the most difficult for me. Um, I've always been a pretty emotional person and uh, I can kind of say that not having a thyroid for me um, has most uh, personally affected my mood the most. Um, so. For example, there are times where I'm just really, really upset, especially um, in times, days where I have not had very, very good sleep or, you know, I'm overwhelmed. Um, that just goes balls to the wall. I, I just get really overwhelmed, really stressed out, really anxious, just horribly sad, mad, whatever. Um, and there are days when I'm perfectly normal, but when I am overwhelmed, or especially when I have not had rest, I can be a horror story. And um, 
you know, I do feel very guilty about that. And, you know, I don't mean to blame it all on my thyroid, but I will say that it was not anything um, like this before not having a thyroid. Of course, I'm much better without the cancerous beast that I had before. So, um, you know, it's something that I talked to my doctor about and hopefully with a little bit of change um, in some of the meds uh, that I am on, it will get better. And, you know, Usually it's something as your thyroid levels might be off and you might need a little bit higher or a little bit lower of a dosage. And uh, if you're a thyroid cancer patient or have had you know, metastatic thyroid cancer, typically we're on a lot higher levels of levothyroxine. Um, so a lot higher doses, I mean. So that could definitely take a toll. And it's just something that you should talk to your doctor about. If you notice that you're more emotional, especially during times of stress or that time of the month, instead of just being um, ugly and terrible to everyone you know, I would definitely talk to your doctor. Now, I'm not saying I'm always horrible to be around. There are days where I'm just fine and I'm not an evil witch, um, but during those times uh, that I am or I feel like I'm going to be, I have to take, you know, precautions to hopefully not be that way. Um, the third really important thing I want to discuss, which is kind of um, attached to that, is um, being tired. Um, so my thyroid levels are actually a lot better than they were before um, having my thyroid removed, but I will say I am extremely exhausted. Um, I, I tend to tire more easily now than I used to, um, and a lot of that does have to do with my lifestyle, but a lot of it also has to do with um, the fact that I don't have a thyroid. And so a lot of the things comparatively uh, according to doctors and just according to knowing, you know, um, more knowledge about what the thyroid does, it's definitely the reason. And uh, so there are things you can do. Um, diet, exercise, meditation can help with that, can help you sleep better. Um, because sometimes being on high doses of um, thyroid medication can make you a little bit um, restless at first. Uh, so, you know, that could have a lot to do with it, but I mostly sleep just fine. Um, you just tend to tire really easily. So I have certain instructions that I have to follow um, by my doctor. I can't do anything too intense or, or I, you know, could pass out and you know, die of exhaustion. Oh, I'm just being dramatic now. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is your temperature. Now this one is, um, something I'm really experiencing as of late. Uh, I will say where I live, it doesn't even get that cold, but you will find, and I believe that every single thyroid patient that I know um, to date has experienced this, you will find that you are extremely sensitive to cold. Now, last year, after having my thyroid removed before I got um, my medication correct, when I was just starting it out, I um, was much more sensitive to this. So this was when my TSH was actually really high. It was actually at 30. Now I'm down to 0.0, .0 which is really, really good, especially for a thyroid cancer patient. Um, my thyroid globulin is elevated a little bit. It's um, a little bit over three, which isn't bad by any means. Um, so we're hoping to keep it there as long as it doesn't rise. And we'll talk about that more. The cancer stuff in my next video um, but back to the temperature thing I've noticed you know as winter has rolled around yet again um, or is coming up I have gotten a lot of chills and just days where I have to wear tons of extra layers and you know that's not always convenient when you're having to throw 20 sweaters on on top of your outfit uh, yeah and so even though my you know levels are a lot better um, I still find I'm very, very cold and, you know, very, very sensitive to temperature in general. So you might need an extra fan or an extra heater um, during times of extreme cold or extreme heat. But other than that, uh, you should be okay. Um, it's not the end of the world. I will say not having a thyroid has uh, definitely been a blessing uh, in disguise uh, for more reasons than not. Of course, I don't have that huge growing tumor in my body and all of those lymph nodes that were affected as well anymore. Um, and as far as my cancer goes, I'll talk about that in my next video. But this is something that I've wanted to talk about for a while. A lot of these things 
are discussed, but a lot of these things are swept under the rug. Thankfully, most of the time, all of my doctors have been very helpful and kind and um, just very good about keeping me exactly where I need to be. So I do want to say, as I always do, self-advocacy is advocacy is so important if you do not feel right in your body please talk to your doctor it's not in your head we know ourselves we know our body more than anything um, you know you could just be being anxious and there's certainly times where I've felt like something much worse was going on than um, in actuality there was but a lot of times that hasn't been the case and I've actually been right whereas um, we thought everything was okay when it wasn't so just uh, trust yourself trust your body talk to your doctors I love my doctors but you know I would say if you're not getting the care that you need I would recommend always getting a second opinion and always trusting in yourself number 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 one I love you guys and I appreciate you watching this video I hope that you found that this has helped or can help someone that you know and I will talk to you all very soon have a great day.